physicality and, and a little bit of magic on the stage. Um, did you work uh, with it from the very beginning or it was a kind of, uh, um, I don't know, the final effect of your researches on the theatre field? I, I can give the short answer and then elaborate. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it really was the product of research. Mm -hmm. We had no idea it was going to be like this. I mean, we, we uh, of course we had we had a, a basic idea of, of where we were heading in the, in the very beginning. But when we met for the first day, we started from scratch, really from from scratch. Uh, so, I what was the first idea where you were going? What was the goal? Um, the goal? Yeah, what was the goal? <laughs> it was a long time ago. Uh, the, the, the concept, the, the, the concept of, of, of the thing, the idea from from before was the to, to investigate the the, the, the well the, the thing of cause and effect mm -hmm. yeah. and and all its potential complications. Yeah. So 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 you see different objects yeah. popping and into each other and these guys and this, uh, and this. I use stuff yeah, the there. Yeah. One That's uh, mm -hmm. that was the idea that we were having on one of these guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and, and 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 somehow how to to uh, to be put in situations where you don't have any have a choice. Mm -hmm. Of course, and there is a choice, but it's affected by by lots of things. And the idea of working together with the composer, musician, uh, was at the very first, uh, at, at the beginning of it, uh, that it will be also a kind of cause and effect music, because you are improvising here. Uh, maybe not totally, but uh, no. they, are, um, they are part. Well, I'm improvising with a material that has, that it has been set. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the sounds in each scene are basically almost the same, uh, but, but I improvise with them and I use some things that, that sort of are, con they are put together in a chain, so if I change something, I have four electronic boxes, so if I change something here, it affects the whole chain. So it's the same effect on, like on the stage? When yeah, it's a, yeah, that was the idea, to try to get a setup that would would, and then I have this instrument there, which, yes, which, which, which goes into the to the effects and also creates a, a, a chain kind of reaction. Yeah. And we are all, all, all probably were very curious about this instrument. So yeah. could you please tell us what, what something about this instrument? Does anybody know what it is? No. I, I was thinking that it has to be this magnetic field. Well, it's it's, yeah, it's the world's oldest uh, electronic instrument well this is new pr this one is new but but it was invented in the sometime in the early 20th century almost 100 years ago by a, a person in in russia i think called his name was teremin and the instrument is called teremin and it's basically uh, uh, it has a sine wave a tone in built in a tone generator and, and there's an electromagnetic field, so so that you can so that you can get the the sound. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> here you control the, the pitch, and here you control the volume. And here's the volume. So that's what you can do. And then I run it through the, the machines. Do you have a special training in this? Um Circus things with the magic, with the balling, for instance, or, or did you also discover it especially for this piece? And we were both jugglers from the beginning, mm -hmm. so so, so we it was easy. This was the easy part of the piece. Mm. <laughs> the juggling? No, <laughs> I mean, I mean, this this is a. Uh, it's probably uh, I wouldn't say more difficult than juggling many many objects because you work with different uh, uh, different parameters. So you can't really tell which is most easy, but uh, both of us started as, as uh, jugglers, and then we moved more and more into uh, like how, how to use the, the juggling knowledge to create other things. Mm -hmm. how, how can you use that knowledge 
except from uh, from uh, Jacqueline. Uh, you, you said about this uh, cause and effect, but I also noticed that uh, that you follow the rules on the, on the stage, and you are also change the rules on the stage and following the other rules. So, so those are the moment of of this twist somehow. And the very good communication between excellent between three of you actually. So, there are any questions from the audience? Comments? It looks like uh, you found uh, some uh, new language of um, new language for stage. Uh, do you have some planning to continue uh, use of speak on this language? To spoken. I mean, to include plastic language. Sorry, I didn't hear. Movement of plastic language. Yeah. Do you have some planning to continue to use it for performances or this particular way of moving? Um, I think I don't have a choice but to move like this. My <laughs> repertoire is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think uh, when we started, we had a, a workshop in France and we had no idea what kind of objects we would have so we just walked around this um, old monastery or yeah. something like that where they have work you can have workshops and stuff there and we just found some sticks and strings and so we just took that and we started to play with it and then we got more and more uh, sort of specific yeah more and more specific and we discovered what kind of objects that we liked and how we wanted them to uh, relate to each other. Mm -hmm. So for example, if, if you, apart from the, well not really, the, the objects are not specially made for juggling, for yes. example, yeah. and they're not specially made for anything. So bricks is just a brick until you build something yeah. with it. Yeah. And these sticks, I don't know what they're for actually, but, and the boards is, you can buy them and there not much until you build something. So that's sort of one theme that we saw that if the object was sort of ready made or finished, it, it was dead. Mm. And, and, and it's also all the objects are, are, are kind of modules that can be built into yeah. something. Uh, that was one, one uh, like specific thing that the objects needed to be we, dis we discovered for, for this piece. But you don't do it only for virtuosity, uh, that kind of stuff. With, um, with um, bricks, for instance, there is Ultima Best piece from the 80s. It's called uh, uh, What the Body Does Not Remember, if I remember well. It's a very long title. And they have one scene with bricks, with just throwing, juggling with bricks. Yeah. And it's uh, only for impressing us, for virtuosity. You are you don't use it, you do not want to impress us with your skillness, only with that. You just build uh, not only a visual world, but some relation between you and objects. I think also we, we were both not traditional jugglers before, but when you make a juggling act, mm -hmm. it's sort of a best of kind of thing. You use your best tricks for five, six, eight minutes. But if you're going to do something for an hour, you can't work like that because it's just trick, 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 mm -hmm. trick, trick, trick. So for a full-length piece, you have to think more like they do in, in dance. You have to sort of yeah, stretch it. And I, and I also think it, it was uh, we wanted to, to get away from the like trick, 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 mm -hmm. uh, because the, the tricks is, it's only tricks. <laughs> Wanted to, to have some something more. How much time did you take to make the performance? How was Three the? months, all yeah. in all. It was divided into into periods. Yeah. Have you been the, the whole time with them? Uh, well, I started. Uh, I was not in. Unfortunately, I was not in France with them, <laughs> but I came in early, I think, but, but I started my, out myself mm -hmm. uh, at home uh, trying to work out 
a lot of possibilities with, with the material I wanted to use. And then I, we started more, I started looking at what I had made and I tried to figure out what to put in and then we started gradually more and more hooked up. Yeah. So, because, but I, I wanted to have a, a, some time where I was not sort of distracted but, but just could concentrate on, on the sounds in themselves. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then later on. So I was probably working the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. There is also very nicely lit. Uh, the scenes are very nicely. Uh, the light is using in a, in a just right way, not too much. Not too, not, uh, so it's, it's also very coherent with the piece and with emotions. And but, but I also think uh, the, the whole creation was, was somehow meeting a, a consensus between all of us. Uh, and I think this affected the piece mm -hmm. a lot, that it was uh, quite... We were all more or less happy with the, with the, with the choices we made. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody on the outside who looks at you two when you are...? Yeah, okay. this is a, he's a director, right. he's, he's not here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, he was really part of the creation, but since we were a lot with improvisation, yeah. his job was to sort of get stuff out of us and help us to, yeah. to choose what to do with it. We have today, we have uh, Ero from Italy, who has done a fantastic job with the light. Uh, the light was created, yeah. <laughs> by our friend Tobias in Sweden who couldn't come but Eero has fantastically jumped into it and recreated the stuff and come with our new ideas and stuff so thank you. Yeah. I just wanted to say that I, I, I was um, I appreciate it uh, the most when uh, these objects kind of came to life, uh, and I was I was um, kind of going in and out of this this such intense concentration, uh, which I assume uh, was there in order to to to, to make a board uh, animated, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes not, but, but when, when, when yes, then you could see this whole, like a whole presence, and not just you, but the whole piece. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. We actually played a little bit with trying to um, animate the objects uh -huh. to make them come alive. Yes. Yeah, animating the objects also animate our imagination. Um, because this is the rest of the uh, of the performance is somehow uh, back of our friends, um, so we are narrating in far and far. Mm. <laughs> Probably everybody makes their own. Yeah, that that's good. That you love this, this space story, yeah. for the mm. audience also, not to pack too many uh, things on the stage. And it's so pure and clear. Only three objects, not thirteen, for instance. It's very good balance in between objects and between performers, music and lightning. And so, thank you very much for being here and, and presenting the piece here. So, um, I think it's time. Yeah, Marta is short. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.